lot of differences in this class. Maybe, uh, you know, I thought the last class was very consistent as far as just down the line. I don't know, three efforts kind of matched up. This class, there's a lot of variety and just performance differences, thickness differences, femininity differences. I think the most complete effort, the one that puts it all together, is the young lady's sharp deposit. Let's just drag her uh, up here behind the, behind the others. This one's really attractive uh, from the profile. She just strikes you with a really nice uh, silhouette from the side. Her length the body is exceptional. Her length the hip is very, very good in this effort. She's really a attractive through her shoulder and feminine through her front end. Plenty of body in that effort. If I would just change her one area, I'd like to just free her up in terms of her movement just a little bit. She wants to just get a little shorter and step behind if I can really take on that effort. But that's a nice effort to win the class. Now we brought up another nice red angus here. This was a little different than in her last one. This was a little more modern size, a little more practical, I think, in terms of her future frame score as a mature cow. Very feminine. I think she's really a Practice effort for her front part of her body uh, as well. Very, very fancy up front. I just don't see her quite as deep, maybe quite as long body as the effort that I beat her, but that's a high quality effort. Young lady brings out a nice golden uh, gelby here, very muscular. This breed is very, very muscular in terms of their, their hip shape. They have a lot of expression of muscle down their top. This sort of gets a little plain about her head, a little coarser to her front end. I just like the refiner here, just a little sharper in her overall feet. But that's a very muscular effort. I'll probably could go down a row and range a hurtful because of her extra thickness. Then the red egg effort that concludes is a nice size effort. I think she's going to end up being a nice, uh, easy to keep kind of cow down the road. I see her just a little shorter than the others, maybe a little off in her hip. When she goes on travel, she wants to dip her hip set, kind of get a little rounder out of her hip. I'd like to correct her uh, through her rump structure. But uh, four nice efforts. Uh, they did a really good job. Let's give them a nice round of applause.
maybe the, a little bit uh, aware of his hip a little bit. He looks like he might be a little bit off in his arm structure at this young age. Hopefully he'll grow out of that. The galloping yeah, fair is really interesting. That's a big strap and bull cap. The young man said that's a march cap. Oh, and he's, uh, he's pounding down the scales. Is that right, young man, a march? Is that what you told me? Yeah, yeah that, that, that cap's pounding down the scale. And that breed will do that. That breed grows. That breed is a lot of performance. Uh, they're really good milkers. They're known uh, around the world as being very, very high in milk sport genetics. Uh, you know, and they really produce a lot of milk for those babies. They're really fertile cows. Uh, maybe the marbling isn't quite as good sometimes in those, and that's kind of been the hit on that breed. But uh, boy, that's a good, productive sound breed. I like that breed to be first place. I like that group down there. I just think they're consistent. The cow is more powerful. She matches her baby a little better. Young man, you're going to be first place down there. You'll be second place here. You'll be third place right there. Let's give her a nice round of applause. Okay? <laughs>
project, we continue to grow the ring project up here in Carlton County. You know, a couple weeks ago I could show up and maybe a little bit too loose, and, and, I, and I say that at every fair I go to. Um, I think it will help you. You can try it anyway, but I think it will help you, uh, especially those cattle that don't wear a show halt very often. You can kind of get it off their muscles. You may respond just a little bit better to you. And I think that would help you. Um, as far as junior showmanship, I watched you guys throughout the day. I, I visited with you a little bit as we went around the ring. I'm not going to ask you really, really tough questions. I just like to visit with you. Hopefully, you know a little bit about your project, the breeds. Um, maybe a little bit about the sire and the dam. You definitely need to know the birth dates. Those things are always kind of very traditional. The law judges will ask. But uh, to me, I just like to study showmanship and kind of separate the young people that I think really have a great understanding of, of, of what they're doing out here. So congratulations to everybody. Uh, good luck in the future. First place in this age group, the young man with the Galvey Duffer. Let's pull you forward. Congratulations to him. You're going to be second young lady. Very good job. Congratulations.
You can go bigger circle if you have to. Junior. Florida heifers in your spring yearling basket. For me, a pretty handy winner in the red heifer. A heifer that's taller, it's funny with this cheap line for many, and especially being longer in his head and neck. Heifer that blends so smoothly for a neck, the shoulders shoulder to the barrel. Heifer you really admire for overall angularity throughout his well with you know, her fans when you get behind her. Heifer would like to change her a little bit, maybe give her a little bit more flex to her house as she walks around the ring, and a little bit more depth and sweep for her ribs each day. Take the other way from the heifer and step in a heifer that you like the width of power throw. She's wide in her front end, carries that edge, she's wide set in it's two girls. It's really smoothly from that shoulder, shoulder barrel. I mean, we just like to make her a little bit more feminine and get up over the red heifer and heifer. The two heifers are on the bottom of class heifers that are really well made heifers. Heifers that maybe just give up a little bit too much size and a little bit too much, and a little more functionality on their rear legs. So to get up over the two ahead of them, let's give all four individuals a nice round of applause for their heifers. Come on, Chili, behave. Come on, do you want to get a ribbon? Yeah. I knew I was doing something. I got it written on so and everything. I think I do have extra pants for you. I'll walk past him.
looking at it, don't you all? Just to highlight a few things happening around the fairgrounds today, on Friday, we will have the carnival that opens at 11 o'clock. Rift bands today are from 12 p.m. to 4 and 6 to 10. Also, outside of the office. Come on, Chili. I told Dad, I said, I got a chiropractor appointment. It's got to be Monday because Tuesday you guys are I didn't want him doing anything. There we go, there we go. Feet are good, Jessica.
judge. The judge. He's looking at me. Jessica was looking at me instead of the judge. Yep. Alright, you're back. I know. 